Hello folks, I'm OdinSpack33, and welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger. <laughs> well, I have to leave that in. The first paycheck always feels so good. <laughs> but at this point, I mostly see the work. <laughs> what a way to start, I'm not paying attention. Oh my goodness, this is part five of Let's Play The Messenger. Uh, last time, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I finished the Howling Grotto, um, and we also did the entirety of the Quillshroom uh, Marsh. We beat the Fallen Monk, and now we're in the Searing Crags. And, uh, <laughs> wow, what an intro. How could I not leave that in, right? I mean, if I was another YouTuber, I probably wouldn't, but, I mean, I gotta leave that in. Congratulations, you made it to the base of the mountain. Almost there. Do you know what this means? I don't know. Does it mean you have another dialogue trap for me? What? Oh, so you're just gonna try and steal my character like that? I guess you think you deserve a prize? No. Well, you do. Plus, you'll never be able to make the climb without the rope dart. The rope dart? Don't overthink it. Everyone will probably end up calling it the grappling hook anyway. Here. Alright, we got the rope dart. Press B to throw. Try it on rings, lanterns, walls, and enemies. Do we need anything? I think we need to talk to you about the rope dart. So thanks for the rope dart. Oh, did you think that was an awkward interaction? You could say that. Clearly you never had to tell your boss that your little experiment went wrong, permanently impacting one of your colleagues. Hey, I heard that. Anyways, you can use it on rings, lanterns, walls, and enemies. Go nuts. About that monk. It is as I feared. Our most promising messenger did not die, but instead cursed forever. She became the queen of quills. How did that happen? This is a tale for another time. Any stories to share? What if it's just like, all right, here we go. Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. It's a story I once told the guy who hooked me up with music for my shop. There once was a village struggling to figure out who the werewolf was. People kept dying every full moon and very gorily at that. One day, a brave young couple decided to venture into the woods. He would be the hunter and she the bait. As one would expect from such a cliched setting, they got separated and our hunter faced off alone against the beast near a cliff. After 15 minutes of a literal uphill battle, the hunter managed to chop off the werewolf's paw with his axe, just as, just as if it was attempting to choke him. The hunter then ran for his life, severed paw still clutched to his throat. By the time he got home, the sun was up, and he found his fiancée bleeding, also badly wounded. The paw in his throat had reverted to its human form, and that moment he noticed it was wearing a ring he had purchased a few days ago. The end. Whoa, that was spooky. I'm still looking for a title. Any suggestions? What about The Werewolf Bride? Wow, great idea. Really? No, not really. You put the reveal in the title. <laughs> yeah, I guess that does give it away, huh? Alright, we got the rope dart. Uh, this is... We went from having the lamest upgrade in the wingsuit to the coolest upgrade in the rope dart. Um, there is no, there's pretty much no reason to not be using this at all aspects of this game. Look how awesome this thing is. Look, we just, now we just go. We just, we just get to go, uh, all the time. We can cling to walls. We can cling to lanterns, enemies. We just, we just go now. Like, it's, it's so good. I love this power-up so much. It is the most satisfying aspect of the messenger. Uh, now that we're here, the game has truly begun. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, cloud stepping, obviously really good, too. You know, jumping into spikes, not so good. But, rope dart, that is where it's at. Also, we didn't really get to comment on this at all, but yeah, isn't this song, like, pretty, pretty, uh, good? It, <laughs> the, the sounds of it really remind me of, uh, Klax on the NES. I know that's maybe a super... <laughs> obscure take, but it's a game I grew up with, and so you have to know that, okay? But yeah, I, I love this thing. It's so good, and we're just gonna skip right by the shopkeep because we don't have enough money for anything. But yeah, you can use you can use the rope dart to really fly against these hooks. They, they give you tons of momentum. Uh, and then obviously you can stick to walls and stuff. Um, it's really good on enemies, kind of no reason not to use it. You, you kind of have like invincibility as you use it on an enemy, so it's not like you're stuck or anything like that. And look, we can like you literally use it on everything. Like, there's 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 no reason not to use this thing. It's it's so good. Um, so yeah, always be darting. A B D, I guess. I don't know. I would say A B C, but you know that doesn't make any sense. 
Yeah, we can navigate our way up here. I feel like I missed something, but no. I probably have, honestly. Uh, but, you know, that's no big deal. We'll, whatever I end up missing, we'll just, you know, we'll figure that out later. Here we go. Here's a little secret in there. And here's a... Here's me getting hit by the spikes because I'm awful. Uh, there's a little time cache there. Can we get that? Is that a thing we can do right now? I don't know if it's a thing we can do right now. It feels like a thing we can do right now. But, you know, again, it doesn't help that I'm just being absolutely awful at this game right now. I'm just getting hit by everything. But yes, rope dart. Use the rope dart. There's no reason to not use the rope dart. It's so good. Just always use it. Okay, I think down there is how to uh, get to that time cache, but we can't actually get in there right now. So, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works there. Yeah, I gotta really stop getting hit by stuff because I am taking so much damage. Remember how I was talking about how cool this rope dart was? How many times can I say rope dart in this video? Enough times to make you not think it's the grappling hook, right? I don't know why the game thinks you're gonna think it's the grappling hook. I don't, I don't know. It's pretty not hard to call it the rope dart. <laughs> but I guess it's kind of a weird name for it, maybe. But it's not that weird. It's a dart. It's a rope. <laughs> it's a rope dart. It's probably the title of the video at this point because I've said it about a thousand times. But yeah, now we, we begin our ascent, which is kind of, it almost seems like a very weird upgrade to get. You get this like horizontal ability for this level that's like pretty much entirely uh, vertical. But you know, that's, that's how it goes. That's, we, we've begun our ascent in the messenger. All right, is there, no, I, I don't think we need to still see the shopkeep. You know, shopkeep cool and everything, but right now I can still kind of avoid him. Like I said, always be darting. Except not on this, not on, not on these. I guess that, that's not anything we can dart off of. But yeah, they're gonna start throwing spikes at us and stuff. I mean, you know, this this game's not easy. I say as I literally hop into spikes. I've been doing that a lot already. I mean, that that was the beginning of this video, right? No, I fell in the pit at the beginning of this video. That was that was pretty embarrassing. Remember that? That was so long ago now, you don't remember. There's no way. Oh yeah, here's this weird... <laughs> you can slide down walls. That's something they don't really do, like, ever. But yeah, a, a technique we, we, can, we can do. But no real reason to. You know what else we can do? Rope dart. Look at this. Like, like everything is just made so, so smooth now. Like, we're already at the boss. Like, levels are just gonna fly by now with this thing. It's like I said, it's just... You know what's not satisfying? When you miss whatever you're going for with it. That That's disappointing. So, what do we need? We still need 320 if we want the HP upgrade. Uh, we need 1,000 for the defense up. Defense up, really good upgrade. Um, let's, let's see about the level boss. Looks like the boss is up. Surely you mean the bosses? Bosses. Bosses. The bosses are up. I need to fight more than one boss here? Well, technically, it's more like personal training than an actual fight. What? Ah, don't let me ruin it. Go see for yourself. All right, well, let's go. Let's go see what uh, lies up ahead, and also rope dart. Look, look how much faster we can get around. Oh, we got some cyclopses. Cy Cyclopsi. I don't know. Another day, another stew simmering. Oh yeah, mountain life is a blast. But I miss seeing adventurers pass by. I hear you. Remember humans? You bet I do. They were almost as interesting as obvious foreshadowing. Oh look, a human. Who would have thought? Yo, Col Colos, check this little guy out. Whoa, Seuss's, Seussies? See that scroll? Hey, little guy, are you the carrier? Don't be silly, Seussies, everyone knows it's the runner. You're confused, Col Colos, I'm pretty sure it's the envoy. No, you've <laughs> you've misconstrued, Seussies. It's actually the emissary. Come on, Colos, I think I remember it being the courier. Seriously, Seussies, how about we agree on the message bearer? Can do, Colos, wanna test the message bearer's sportsmanship? I thought you'd never ask, Susies. Let's see what you've got, little guy. All right, so this is uh, <laughs> this boss is a two two part battle. We got leg day over here with this guy. This is Susies, and we can just kind of attack him. He's he's probably the easier to deal with of the two. Just kind of just wail on him, and he just takes damage. Uh, Colos is a little more frustrating. You have to hit him from behind. 
I don't know why this works on him, but it, it do. So, and we're gonna try to avoid this and fail. But we can also hit him when he's on the ground. But after that, we gotta cloud step over him. Yes, got some taking hits here. Taking some pretty unnecessary hits. Right, gotta watch out for this boulder here. Ouch. Ouch! Alright, I'm getting pretty hurt here. This is this is getting a little, little too close for comfort here. Alright, he looks pretty mad. He, he, he's not looking too happy here. Right, we gotta not get hit by that, maybe. Right, he, he's gotta almost be dead, right? There we go. We got so close, but yeah. They, <laughs> they tag out. <laughs> like tag team wrestling style. They tagged out and... Well, they tagged themselves into into submission. <laughs> Con Sarnet Carlos, the postman packs quite a punch. Sav savily stated, Susies. We like you, little guy. What do you reckon, Colos? He probably needs to reach the top of our mountain. Seems so, Susies. I say we help out. Confirm, Colos. Let's do this. Thanks for the workout, little guy. Now don't move. This might sting a little. Wait, what? Ready, Colos? Set, Susies. Hut. And there we go into my. Favorite area of the game, and we'll see why in a second. Well, I'm hungry now. Shall we snag, Colos? I descend, Susie's. We promise not to eat until our power thistle is ready to be added to the pot. I forget completely, Colos. Surely its magical properties will make us even stronger. It will be succulent, Susie's. It will be con carn, Colos. Let's sit by the stew until the thistle is fully grown. Now oh, that's probably foreshadowing for something. Man, that intro to that song is so good. <laughs> this is my favorite song in the game. I just wanted to let that beginning part play because it's so good. Uh, that's really the only reason I really like this level. I mean, the level itself is fine, but man, do I like this song. Oh man, do I see, you know what? We're gonna let this song play in full before we see the shopkeep. That's all right. I know we, we could see him right away, but no. We're letting this song play in full once, baby. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die as I as I say all this. I just, oh man, it's just so good. Yeah, um, this is this is my favorite song in this game. Yeah, it's 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 definitely very okay, let's just keep getting hit by this one enemy. I'm gonna die. This level is very this is glacial peak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Glacial peak. Oh my goodness, this... this... <laughs> oh, well. Alright, well, we died. I've saved your life four times already. Well, the song repeated. I guess we are gonna go to the shopkeeper right here. That's what I get, I guess. Oh my goodness. So Glacial Peak is where we're headed. Um, current area. I'm finally near the mountain summit. Looks like my adventure is about to come to an end. Clearly, you haven't watched the trailer. Pardon? Never mind. Hey, it's cold and slippery out there. Be careful. What do you want to chat about? Any stories to share? You have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. Once was a village settled in a land of ice and snow. Food was scarce, but not as much as heat. Their elders spoke of a lush grove, safe, abundant, and with comfortable weather to boot. The only problem was that grove lay on the other side of a permanent hailstorm, which would take weeks to cross. One day, a brave couple left their young boy behind to attempt what the village called the trek. They would scout it all the way to the grove and confirm its existence and come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. Like all who attempted the trek before them, they sat, sadly and predictably never came back. Over the following decades, that boy grew up with only one goal in mind, to take on the trek himself and to find his parents alive at the grove or dead in the ice. Fearing they may have simply been ill-prepared, he trained every day until he was five years older than his parents were when they left for the trek, then set off for his own attempt. The hailstorm's first bite wasn't as bad as he thought it would be, but the cold ice, the co ice cold soil slowly worked its way into the bones. After days of walking through the storm without realizing it was all just a metaphor playing out in his troubled young adult mind, he stumbled upon a no pun intended chilling sight. His parents frozen solid in a block of ice. The shock was too strong. He remained there, cursing, pondering, and cursing again, till the cold took him to become a part of the ice block. The end. What? What do you mean, what? 
no moral or at least a proper ending. Sometimes stories can be harsh. It might just be the very message they mean to convey about life. You need to think about what transpired and find your own takeaways. There are no wrong answers as long as they ring true to you. Maybe this one really felt like a pointless story. It just might be the case for you it was. Or you could consider the implications of our adventure being five years older than his parents when he found them. Can you imagine gazing upon those who are your protectors and mentors, realizing they are actually younger than you? Your bearers of truth, the wise ones, those you aspired to be like? A harsh reality indeed. You thought they knew it all, had it all figured out, that they were centered and filled with purpose. Yet there you stand, beholding the one pillar you ever stood, er, took for granted and used for stability, physically crystallized, yet mentally shattered before your very eyes. Had they really found inner peace already when you knew them, meaning you're the one who missed the mark? Or were they simply excellent actors? Food for thought, huh? Yes, that's enough. Remember, this is all subjective. I shared but one angle. Man, what a what a deep story. <laughs> also, <laughs> uh, I guess uh, Quibble uh, decided to uh, Quibble. Am I saying that right? So, so, something about that sounds wrong. Uh, they they left us alone. <laughs> it's, Quibble is one of them. It's Quarble. It's Quarble. Not quibble. Alright, let's uh, not do what I did last time and use the rope dart. Remember the rope dart, how I was saying it was awesome? Yeah. See how good it is? This is what we should have been doing this whole time. You know, not touching the ground because ground is not necessary in the messenger. And just using the rope dart a whole bunch. As I said, the rope dart. Always be darting. It's so good. Yeah, I love this song. It's, it's so good. It's uh... My favorite song in the game, absolutely, 100%. And you know, I I won't I won't take reason to why it's not. Uh, it's it's just really really good. You know what's not good? Me gonna die again because I am getting impatient and greedy. But that's <laughs> that's the messenger. That's my play style for the messenger is impatient and greedy because it's the best way to play. It's the only way to play, really. You know what else is the only way to play? Is by not messing that up there. <laughs> this, this, oh man, you know I'm gonna slide in these spikes. I'm, nah, it's not happening this time, game. I don't think so. Hey, give me that potion. That was just asking for me to slide in that, those spikes. That's some good use of ice physics right there. Um, which, by the way, ice physics are terrible, and there's never a good use for ice physics. But hey, you know, maybe uh, sometimes there is... You know, I could end here. That, that wouldn't be a terrible ending spot. Oh, there's definitely something over there. <laughs> Almost missed that. Almost missed that little time cache. Almost missed that little time cache over there. I guess Quarble's not going to steal any of our time shards this time. Because, you know, they couldn't be bothered to sit around through the shopkeeper's story. Which, you know, I don't blame them, honestly. You know, it's, it's, it, it's, it was kind of a long one. That was, that was definitely... Uh, a pretty lengthy uh, story in the shopkeep. Look how good! Look, look how good that is! Like, are you kidding me? They had all this other stuff lined up for us, and it was like, no, cloud step, rope dart. You know, we're we're in there. Like I said, there, there's really no reason to even ever touch the ground in this game. Like, really, like most of the time, you can just kind of fly around and just not even concern yourself. Oh, this guy again. Sort of shuriken at him. Man, he's too, he's too good. He owns us. Really? Is he gonna beat us? Yeah, he is. Unbelievable. I can't believe we lost. Perfect timing. It was my turn to buy a round. Man, he's just waiting for us. No, we're we're getting to the top of this mountain before this is over. Oh, okay. I I see his deal. He. He, okay, he he puts his his weapon up. Okay. Yeah, we don't we gotta get him from behind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, now he left us alone. What time? I mean, honestly, I probably could just ran away from him. That was a really tough enemy. But I guess he lives to fight another day. He ran away from us for some reason. All right, can we just fly up here? Is that? Is that what's intended? No, that's not what's intended for this. Oh, I mean, <laughs> there is a power seal up there, but I don't think that's the intended way to get up there. No, def definitely not. No, they want us to go up this way. 
man, these these little guys on the wall, they're a pain. They they are not fun to deal with. This why this power steel is really not anything. I think finding is more hard than actually doing anything here. But yeah, this this power steel is, is, is kind of a it's kind of a nothing. All right, now well, these guys respawned because of course they did. All right, ignore, ignore. They're not worth fighting. Leave them alone. They're not, they're not bothering us. Also, that guy's not bothering us either, so we're most definitely not fighting. Just, <laughs> just launch myself up here. Just do the, do the climb. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a very satisfying section. Oh, okay, it's over. <laughs> this is gonna be a very satisfying section, and by that I mean, not really. It's definitely just a run with falling platforms. Honestly, I I really do love the vertical sections in this game because with the rope dart, you really can feel like you can just keep jumping forever uh, with cloud stepping too. Like there's just some parts where it just is hecka satisfying. <laughs> hecka satisfying also, I guess. That's something I would definitely never say ever. All right. I guess this section didn't really have a lot of rope dart and cloud step opportunities. All right, the boss is coming up. But the shopkeeper is not home and we're gonna leave on a cliffhanger, I guess. Thank you so much for watching The Messenger. I've been OdinSpec33 and I'll see you next time for part six. So until then, take care and goodbye.